Tica Bum Tica Uma canção do Tica Tica Bum Tica Meu coração faz Tica Tica Bum Tica E vem a saudade da Bahia Onde o samba tem tangerê também numa batucada Bum Tica Bum 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 É brasileiro o Tica Tica Bum Tica Com um pandeiro fazendo Tica Bum Tica My friends, I extend felicitations to our South American relations. May we never leave behind us all the common ties that bind us. 130 million people send regards to you. And before I return, there's one thing Brazilians pound the chicka chicka boom. They like the sound of chicka 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 boom. Oh, it's skibble, it's skibble, it's skibble. It came from the Amazon, from the jungle, where the name is great, everyone can meet, we not a time. Oh, it's skibble, boom, 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 boom. Oh, it's skibble, boom, 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 boom. It don't make sense, the ticka ticka boom, ticka ticka boom, ticka boom, the ticka boom. But it's immense, the ticka ticka boom, ach 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 ka boom. That's all you've got to say. Thank <laughs> you.
de mentiras, ouviu? Quem é aquela mulher sentada na mesa da frente? What woman at what front table? Besides, I never saw her before. Então, por que você estava piscando o olho para ela? Oh, that wasn't a hotel lobby smile I was giving her. My smile belongs to my public. She's a customer and she's entitled to a piece of it like every other pretty girl. Oh. I mean like every other customer. É essa mulher com quem você saiu ontem à noite, não é? I wasn't out with her with anybody else last night. I was home in bed by 12.30. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I gotta get a new mattress. Senhoras e senhores, for an America Connell to be received like this here in Rio is most gratifying. I thank you. Immediately after the next number, I'd like to impersonate for you that celebrated figure of Rio at Cavalier of the Boulevards, the one and only Baron Manuel Duarte. Senorita Carmen, she just finished her solo. Yeah, that's good. She's still man? She's always man. How's she coming up the stairs? Three out of time. She's mad. Sweet girl. That's a good shot. Someday you're gonna miss my head and hit that mirror, then think of all the bad luck you'll have. No dia em que eu quebrar aquele espelho, será batido na sua cabeça. E baixo eu virar as costas, você começa logo a namorar todas as mulheres. Listen, listen. I've been trying to teach you English for six months. Now, you never learn unless you speak it, and you can't speak it when you get excited. English isn't that kind of a language. So don't get excited. Yeah, there. That's it. Now, say what you're gonna say in English. Okay. You is a low down, no good ham. Are a low down, no good ham. You are a low down, no good ham. That's fine, that's fine. You are a low down, no good ham. Perfect, perfect. That's perfect. Senor, senor. Obrigado. The package is for Senor Martin. Now, uh, uh, this is just a, just a little cod liver oil. You see, I'm a little run down from all this night work. Night work, yeah. huh? Yeah. You want me, I should hit her on the head. I don't want to meet her in my life, okay? Look out! Ooh, out! You glass in the snake. Now, look what you've done, you little jag. Why you ripped me to shreds? Get me some iodine, Afonso, before fever sets in. Oh, Larry. Why you don't tell me, Larry? So beautiful. What a <laughs> beautiful. woman. What a woman. Oh. You know, little turtle, that was supposed to be a surprise. Oh, Larry. Mm. I am so sorry, Larry. Uh, naturally. Beat me. Kill me. Uh, later, remind me, will you? Oh, my terrible temper. I should not lose him. Oh, you haven't lost him, baby. He's still there. All he wants is a break. Oh, I am dead, dead. Dead. Yeah, bad and beautiful. And after all, maybe it, uh, maybe it was a little bit my fault. What you mean? Well, maybe, maybe I did smile at that girl a little. Oh, so you admit her? No, 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 no. I haven't admitted her yet. I said maybe. Agora tome cuidado. Se ele pegar outra vez pensando com aquela pequena da mesa da frente, e eu acabo com o baile. You know who just came in? Baron Duarte. Baron Duarte. Good evening, Baroness. Good evening, Baron. Good evening. This way, please. Honor, Baron. I hope this table is satisfactory. If there is anything you desire, please do not hesitate. Hey, everything is quite satisfactory. Thank you. Thank you. The Baron immediately. We've waited and waited. How long will he be? Hello? Oh, yes. No. The Baron is in conference and he cannot be seen today. You mean? We mean, we certainly mean he cannot be seen today. I came all the way from Uruguay. Our math is very vital. I'm a man of high repute. And I'm a man of title. But the Baron is in conference and he cannot be seen today. Is he busy? Busy, is he? Busy, is he? Is he busy? All appointments have been canceled. Everyone must be postponed. He said he's not to be disturbed. Not even if we... 
This may cause a crash and quite an international mess. And tell him he's aggravated the Associated Press. We offer our apologies, but again we have to say... We know the Baron is in comfort. And he can't be seen today, come tomorrow. This meeting is called to order to discuss the business of the day. Old business. New business. Oh, and you, my dear. Unfinished business. Oh, of course. How forgetful of me. We'll examine the facts and figures. Figures? You balance your budgets very fine. So stockholders of my affection, as your chairman, I never will resign. Long love the president. Our romantic enterprise quite successfully has failed. All your wishes will be granted and a dividend declared. Dividendo, dividendo, bravo, bravo, hooray! My moment with you is over. We're through with the business of the day. And now, my lovely senoritas, please permit me to say, Oh, my night is done. So, good night, my lovely one. Soon every star will be an end. And this am that we Such a wonderful delight. The Baron is in conference, and he can't be seen Shh. tonight. Why, it's incredible. You have very articulate eyes, Cecilia. Like your conscience, Manuel? You must make some allowance for the exaggerations of an artist. How much allowance? I leave that to your generous North American heart. Oh, you're quite modest, Manuel. As a matter of fact, I thought the impersonation quite remarkable. Hmm. I'm afraid I should not have come. I shall never get used to thinking of myself as a Lothario. If I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't have believed it. Pia, perhaps a little game of Barker on the oh, gaming room? Delighted, my dear Cecilia. You will excuse us, Baron. Of course, of course. Gentlemen. <laughs> Baron Duarte, I trust Senor Martin's act did not offend you. Oh, no, 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 not at all. On the contrary, I enjoyed it immensely. I should like to have the honor of meeting the gentleman sometime. Perhaps I could give him a few suggestions. Or perhaps you could give me some. Would you like to come back a stage now? Why not? If you'll excuse me, I should be back presently. After. My 
my dear Inez, how charming to see you again after all this month. At your service. I didn't think you'd remember me. Remember you? How could I forget? Your, your esprit, your, your joie, the vive, the, the auburn waves of your hair. But I was a brunette then. Well, it uh, must have been the moonlight in your hair which deceived me. We dined together on the terrace, you remember, in Pernambuco. Oh, I recall every moment of it vividly. We had dinner. Yes? If I seemed a little, uh, uh, shall we say, distraught, it was uh, because I realized the futility of trying to express my feelings for you in mere words. I must go now. Why don't you? Well, perhaps sometime you might do me the honor of making Rio as exciting as Pernambuco, eh? Cai fora. Pernambuco, eh? Só eu gosto de fish, eh? But, uh, I, I, I... E o que é que você usou por isso? Quer algum parzinho de brincos? Well, I, I, I think you... you não you... me importa o que você pensa e não mintas, porque desta vez me peguei aqui uma roupa. Pardon, Duarte. Pardon me, I... I do not know what to say. Please say that you forgive me. Forgive you? For what? For having upset you. I thought you was lovely, Senor Martin. Oh, how I envy Senor Martin. I wish I could arouse such violent emotions in so beautiful a woman. Mm, I have heard about you, Baron. You do not do so bad yourself, huh? What a charming smile. It makes me want to do better. Perhaps you, you might do me the honor to have supper with me, huh? You are making love to me? Oh, what a charming notion. Uh... I must say it appeals to me, too. Will you? No. Hmm. I am very sorry. Tomorrow, perhaps? I am very sorry. Well, we are, we are both very sorry. Perhaps we could discuss our regrets together over a bottle of champagne. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. No champagne. All right, you will choose the wine. Tomorrow night, I'm having a reception for, uh, for a distinguished foreign diplomat, an ambassador. Perhaps you will come and sing for us. Later on, we might find a moment or two for an exchange of ideas, huh? Oh, no, no, Varo. No champagne and no ideas. You are afraid of the ambassador? Oh, no, not the ambassador. Won't you come? I would like to. Oh, thank you, thank you. I, I... But I won't. But Cecilia, you saw for yourself. Manuel escapades are public knowledge. Cecilia, is it time for you to retaliate? Oh, I'm afraid I'm not that vengeful. But you have right to, to... When I find somebody as charming as my husband, I'll think of my rights. Mm -hmm. Oh, stop preening, Pierre. After all, you really don't think Manuel could take you seriously. Cecilia, you're not very flattering. Many husbands have been furiously jealous of me. Well, then, why don't you rest on your laurels? Get yourself a wife, Pierre, and leave me alone, hmm? Cecilia, if I cannot be happy with another man's wife, how can I be happy with one of my own? Nessa canção de amor A imploro com todo ardor E ela coitadinha teve que o abandonar por outro filho La 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 A história desse amor Que começou lá no Rio Em um café ao luar em Tuara Uma doce canção Tu tens que olvidar Que passou lá no Rio E ao falar um soluço ao comigo Nessa canção de amor Nessa canção de amor E ele A implora com todo ardor E ela coitadinha Teve que o abandonar Por outro que nunca amou E teve que partir Desse esplendor que é horrível Esse amor só ficou a saudade Dessa doce canção Vê 
song of love begin the night they met down in rio in a cafe by the bay they romance to a midnight serenade she told him to forget the night they met down in rio and there were tears in her eyes as they danced to a midnight serenade he Then she showed him someone else's picture in the tiny little locket she wore. And so he rode away, but left his heart down in Rio. All that remains of their love are the strains of a midnight serenade. That remains of their love are the strains of a midnight serenade. And to think you can sing like that too, Baroness. Thank you. Then you know who I am. Ah, whenever I see a beautiful flower, I always learn its name. I wanted to compliment you on your performance this evening. Oh, thanks. Oh, pardon me. This is Monsieur Pierre Dufont. How do you do, Monsieur? <laughs> Won't you sit down? Hello. Uh, yeah, thanks, thanks. I uh, hope the Baron didn't mind. No, he enjoyed it immensely. Were you nervous? What for? Well, I, I saw you watching the Baron. Uh, maybe you misjudged my gaze. Did I? Yeah, she did, Baroness. I tried very hard to look at the Baron, but I, I couldn't control my eyes. What could they possibly have seen from that distance? Well, they saw a very beautiful woman watching my performance, like scores of others, daring me to show her something. Is that right? Well, we were talking about what you saw. And then, Cecilia, Cecilia, it's getting very late. Manuel will be waiting. I doubt it. And then? The longer I looked, the better I felt. Would you do something for me? It's done. Would you impersonate the Baron? I'd like to hear you speak as he does when you're yourself. Oh, well, without the makeup and the monocle, uh, I... I've got it. There is nothing south of the Caribbean, or north of it, for that matter, or east or west of it, that is as lovely as you are, Cecilia. Then you know my name? Oh, you forget that I am your husband. And that gives me the right to hold your lovely hands and to kiss your tempting lips. Oh, yeah. You're very naughty. Oh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Baroness. I uh, always get carried away in my roles. This is a particularly good part. <laughs> Cecilia, Cecilia, we really must go. Yes, yes, I think we'd better go. Uh, I hope I've given you some new ideas to use as the Baron. You give me some new ideas to use as Martin. Thank you. Good night. Good night. You uh, dropped your purse, darling. So I did, my love. E esses seus olhares esmelosos são só para animar ninguém. Ouviu? <risos> Your secretary just brought this to the table. Very important. But, but you were positive they were going to renew. So positive that I bought 51% of the stock. 51%? You invested all, all, all of your money? Oh, no, no, no. I used the bank's money. I did not have enough of my own. Huh. For the first time in my life, I have speculated and lost. As a matter of fact, I did not regard this as a speculation. I was as certain as anybody could be of anything in this uncertain world. But consolidated with Renew. I still cannot understand why they won't. Sally, Sally, hey, control yourself, huh? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't help it. It's enough to make anybody twitch. 
what will the bank depositors do? Uh, let's not think that far ahead. Where, where are you going? We need 20 million. I'm sure I cannot get it here. This information will not be made public for 48 hours. If we can replace the money in the bank before that time, we are safe. If not, I will do my best to exonerate you of all blame. Thank heaven it's only 51%. What a happy thought, Salis, huh? We'll see you at the stock exchange in the morning. If this doesn't leak out. Otherwise, there will be no need to bother about the stock exchange. Prison will be much safer. Uh -huh. Why don't you see a doctor about that lip? I did. Well, he told me to relax and not to worry. Where is the Baron this morning? Good, good morning, Machado. The Baron? The Baron? He's a little late. Uh, well, that is very strange. Uh, strange? What, what's strange about that? As his business competitor, I've known the Baron for a great many years. He is never late, especially at the exchange. Well, there has to be a first time. Yeah. Don't you believe yourself? Never. Mm. It uh, couldn't be, Pena, that the Baron maybe has heard some bad news about the airmail contract and is trying to pull a few wires, could he? You are crazy. The trouble with you, Machado, is that you suspect. You suspect everybody. I do. And that is why I am an investment banker. If I didn't, I would be just an investor. I'd like to know what's going on. So don't whisper. Don't wish, my children, and don't wish. I think Machado suspects something. If he get the idea that anything is wrong, he will start selling his airline stock short, and the bank will discover our, our shortage before the morning is over. Then we can take all 51% and light our cigars with it, if we have any cigars. Now, smile. Uh. <laughs> Now? What are you going to say? <laughs> Manuel is not at the bank. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Just when we need him, he disappears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's probably still at home. Mm -hmm. We've got to get him. <laughs> we will just ease out of the place. <laughs> As if we hadn't a care in the world. <laughs> We've got to get Manuel over here, or this scoundrel Machado will start asking more questions. <laughs> <laughs> what if he isn't home either? <laughs> <laughs> Don't blow up your bridges till you come to them. <laughs> uh. You fool. <laughs> <laughs> And I should say he's not here, senor. Where's the, where's the Baroness? Maybe she will know. The Baroness is out riding, senor. After all. What? He... He left a letter for you. No, no, no. That will be all, Pietro. <clears throat> My dear Arthur, I failed last night to get any help from the men on whom I had counted. I have only one hope left, the city bank of Buenos Aires. I am leaving at once by plane, and if I don't succeed, you will not see me again. He, he's going to kill himself. Don't worry, I am not going to kill myself. But I won't return until I can pay back every penny to our depositors. Remember, until this is settled one way or the other, no one must know. Now, courage and don't worry. Yours is always, uh, always. Can't read it. Uh, Manu, Manuel. What are we going to do now? 
We've got to keep people from becoming suspicious, especially Machado. That's the only thing we can do until we hear from Manuel. Shh! I'd forgotten all about the reception. What reception? For the ambassador. And Manuel is in Buenos Aires. We are finished. We've got to get him back. If he's not here tonight, everybody will suspect. And he tells us not to worry. The Baroness is not at home, senor. No, it's too bad. Uh, you're not giving me the runaround, are you? You're sure she's not in? The Baroness is horseback riding, senor. Is there something you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wanted to give her this. She, uh, she left at the Samba last night. Well, here it is. Say good morning to the Baroness for me, will you? Thanks. Who shall I say call, senor? My name is Larry Martin. Are you thinking what I am thinking? But what if we get caught? A few more years in jail won't make any difference. Senor Martin, come in. And then at the reception, you just act charming and gracious. My natural self, huh? Now, there are a few things you must learn. Your wife's name is Cecilia. Yeah, beautiful name, isn't it? Uh, that's beside the point. Your valet is Pedro, and the chauffeur is Osvaldo. Beautiful. If you think Pedro is beautiful, that's your affair. The, the chef is Austro-Gazzillo. austro, austro Gazzillo. The maid is Luisa. She's very pretty and a trifle forward. How far forward? Sometimes you joke with her and sometimes you pinch her on the cheek. Oh, it depends on my mood, eh? Your name is Manuel. Can you remember all that? Oh, it's my business. I'm an actor. My, na uh, <clears throat> my name is Manuel. My wife's name is Cecilia. You two are Felicio and Arthur. My valet is Pedro, the chef also Gesilo, the chauffeur Osvaldo, the maid Luisa. Sometimes I joke with her, sometimes I pinch her on the cheek. Now I want half my money before I start the job. I closed my eyes. It's perfect. I couldn't tell the difference. Well, you hear when I get my money. This. Here you are. Nine. Ten. Yes. Now, the first thing we must do is tell the Baroness. No, 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 no. You tell her and it's no go. Well, uh, but listen, my No, 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 no. Don't you see? I'd, I'd get stage fright. I'd give a bad performance. All right, all right. If you won't tell the Baroness. Yes. Come, come. This door leads to your dressing room. Yeah? And this is your wardrobe. Yeah. That leads to the bath. Yeah. And that, of course, is the hall door. Where does this door lead to? Uh, uh, that leads to the Baroness's room. That's another thing. Listen, you are on the very formal terms with your wife. Always polite and courteous. But it ends there. We're not bad friends, are we? <laughs> no, you and the Baroness have a perfect understanding. You each go your own way. It's a simple modern marriage. Just uh, stand around and grin. That's all. And that's hard enough. <laughs> you buy nothing, you sell nothing. Hmm? Same thing happens every day? Yes, that's the way they do business on the exchange. <laughs> 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 uh, there's Machado staring at us. Machado who? Laughing, laughing, laughing. <laughs> you know, boys, this kind of fascinates me. Confidentially, how does it work out? <laughs> we are losing our mood. <laughs> smile, smile. <laughs> we must go to the bank at once, senor. Bank? Yes, senor. Boys, boys, you're out of character. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better wait here. No, 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 no. You, you will come along. You are in this as much as I. Uh-huh. <laughs> you stay here, senor. We must keep up an appearance at all costs. Uh, look, uh, what do I do while you're gone, huh? Nothing, nothing. Absolutely nothing. You buy nothing, you sell nothing, you say nothing. Not a word to anybody. <laughs> Understand? Oh, perfectly. Shadow is selling his airline stock. He must have heard something about the airmail contract. That's what it is. Look, the Baron just bought 10,000 shares. 10,000? Oh, come on. 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 Come
relief. Just think of sending for us about a trifling matter the manager could have attended to himself. <laughs> he has no initiative, that fellow. <laughs> Say, uh, who's that fella down there? Well, one of the traders. Am I supposed to know him? You have probably seen him around. <laughs> I was just wondering. He kept waving at me. Friendly fella. <laughs> and what does you do? Well, I wave back at him, naturally. I'm taking no chances with any of these birds around here. <laughs> <laughs> Baron, your purchase. Thank you, Baron. You wave back, you... You wave, man. Eh? You just bought 50,000 shares of stock, which by tomorrow probably will be worthless. That's what you did. Don't forget, gentlemen, smile. <laughs> How do I look, Pedro? Like yourself, senor. What else? It's best to be sure. Please, Cecilia. Please let him think you don't know. Our futures, our, our lives depend upon it. No. No, I won't do it. If you don't, it's the end of everything for Manuel. Good evening, Cecilia. Good evening. Manuel? And how are you gentlemen this evening? Splendid. Oh, it's, uh, it's a glorious night. <laughs> Happy anniversary, my dear. Why, what's the matter, darling? Huh? Oh, I'm so surprised at your remembering. Our anniversary? Oh, how could I forget? Perhaps the same way you forgot last year and the year before. Last year? Well, I, I, I have not been myself for the, for the past two years. Are you quite yourself now, Manuel? Uh, oh, yes, you're quite, quite. I'm sure you've been overworked. My poor Manuel. Oh! Oh, it's exquisite! Oh! How did you know about the anniversary? Pedro told me. I thought the necklace was the least I could do. Well, uh, you don't expect us to reimburse you for it, huh? I don't. That's fine. I charged the Baron already. It looks very expensive. Must have cost 10,000. Oh, dear. 20. Hmm. How does it look, Manuel? Oh. I think it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It is not the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. You know, Cecilia, this is my anniversary, too. Isn't it? I think I'd better go see if everything's ready in the garden. Excuse me. We expect you to behave like a gentleman. Definitely. Whatever you say, gentlemen, I was giving an inspired performance. But if you want to run to the mill, it's OK by me. And he's still not here. But he can't be here tonight. He called the manager. He got the laryngitis. Laryngitis? What means that? That means he's out with another woman. That's a lie. Sure he is. Where lives Baron Duarte? Why? Where? In the White House near the Prasa. Why? You're not going to see the Baron. They will throw you out. You think so, huh? What else? Well, you see that? Mm. Him 
invite me to come, see? He begged me on his knee. <laughs> no, 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 you don't go. You love your Larry too much. You wouldn't even look at another man. You think so, eh? I assure you. You really go? Tonight, I get for myself some laryngitis. I'm delighted to see you, my dear Baron. This is indeed a great honor, Your Excellency, the greatest honor that has ever been bestowed upon me. To think that a man of your position would deign to set foot in my humble house. Why, Manuel, one would think His Excellency had never visited us before. Ah, it, it seems that each time I, I am overwhelmed all over again. <laughs> it, it is just like seeing a great actor. Always different, yet always the same. <laughs> You're much too kind, my dear Baron. I'm afraid you would sound much more convincing if you didn't have so lovely a wife to console you while I'm away. <laughs> ah, Baron, <laughs> well, at last I've caught up with you. I've been trying to talk with you all day, but, but you have acted so strange that I do not know what Hello, Masato. How are you? Yes. Fancy seeing you here, yes. of all people. Yes, yes thank you, sir. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to, <laughs> to talk to the Baron, please. I know you, you old devil. You've got a scheme in life for the girls, as any place in Rio. Come, come, I show you a beautiful girl. No, no, I want no girls, I... Oh, so that's the fellow I'm not supposed to talk to, huh? Not one word. And whatever you do, don't let him get you alone. Don't worry, I'm going to devote the rest of the evening exclusively to my wife. Excuse me, senor. May I speak to you alone? There's a young lady to see you, senor. I showed her into the library. Oh, no, I, I don't want to see any young lady. Send her away. But, but that's easier said than done, senor. She's, she's quite persistent, and she might make a most unpleasant scene. If I might suggest, senor, you are so adept in such matters that... How do you know? Oh, 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 I am. Yes, of course I am. <laughs> I've never been in the service of any gentleman who could uh, uh, handle them so easily, coming or going. Quite a fellow, huh? All right, I will see her, Pedro. I suppose that's part of the job, huh? Oh, hardly a job, senor. A pleasure. The young lady's most uh, engaging. Oh. Come. You are surprised I'm here, Pablo? Oh, yes. Surprised and delighted, senorita. As a matter of fact, my dear Carmen, I did not expect to see you again under, under such delightful circumstances. I thought you were too much in love with this charming American fellow, Martin. And I cannot say that I blame you. Oh, he is so handsome, so gifted, so... So big, ugly pig. Oh, oh really? Well, when a, when a woman talks so, so viciously about a man, it can be for one reason. She loves him. Well, I am here, no? <laughs> ah, I was right. You are still thinking about your Larry, huh? Bah, that's him. Yes, you are. I felt it when I kissed you. I actually felt Martin in your arms when I held you in mine. No, 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 do not worry. I am not offended. On the contrary, I like to see a woman in love with one man. Oh, it is so rare, so exciting. Love him? I hate him. I do not come here to talk about him. I come here to talk uh, about you. Oh, you make me very happy when you say that, Carmen. Please. You are wonderful, Carmen. I love you. Never have I known anybody like you. Never, Carmen. You are right. That Martin is a ham. A cheap, common, vulgar nightclub clown. Oh, what a terrible life he must have led you. 
But why do you talk about him when we are here together? Uh, well, uh, does that mean... It means kiss me and kiss me, kiss me, bottom. Uh, uh, close your eyes and I will kiss you like you have never been kissed before. Todo esse tempo eu sabia que era você. You're lying. You thought I was a baron. Espera que eu lhe mostre já já. Eu não sabia até que viu o arranhão que lhe deu ontem à noite. All right, all right. So you knew who I was. Well, why did you come here for in the first place? E o você o que está fazendo aqui? Oh, that's a fine question. You know what I'm doing here? I'm impersonating the baron. That's what I'm doing. What for? His wife? Oh, well, now, that's a nice question, isn't it? And about a charming lady like that, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. That's the thanks I get. Here I am, breaking my back in this makeup, trying to make a little extra dough to buy you a fur rat. And, and you... For you... me? Oh, Laurie, I am so sorry. What, again? You forgive me? Well, after this, don't go around thinking things are making me blush. Oh, why, you do so good. Uh, I bet you will. Well, I forgive you, but this is the last time. Ooh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. What if somebody should come in here and see you in the Baron's arms? Ah, let him worry about that. But Cecilia, you've refused to dance with me at least ten times this evening. I insist upon knowing why. Does the obvious ever become obvious to you, Pierre? After all, ten times should be convincing. Besides, I'm having this dance with my husband. You run along, baby, and I'll duck out of here just as soon as I can. You are Senorita Carmen from the casino? Yes, Baronesa. I, uh, I invited her to uh, come here and sing. Oh, splendid. But don't forget, Manuel. We have the next dance together. Oh, how could I forget it, Cecilia? Oh, of course, of course, yes. Well, come along, then. Look, when you dance with her, dance like this, and no like this. Understand? Nothing could be clear. Yes. Better, uh, uh, may we have a talk now? Uh, right after this dance. Certainly holding her claws. Mm -hmm. It is hard to tell where he leaves off and she begins. Oh, 
Te mando escorregar, cai a chuva no telhado, teu olhar caiu no meu, cai a cinza do passado, sobre um sonho que morreu, cai a chuva no telhado, teu olhar caiu no meu, cai a cinza do passado, sobre um sonho que morreu. Cai, 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 eu não vou te levantar. Oi, cai, 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 quem mandou escorregar? Cai, 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 eu não vou te levantar. Cai, 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 cai. E muita gente cai à toa E outros caem com razão A saudade é uma garoa Caindo no coração Muita gente cai à toa E outros caem com razão A saudade é uma garoa Caindo no coração Oi. Cai, 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 cai Eu não vou te levantar Cai, 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 cai Quem mandou escorregar Oi. Cai, 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 cai Eu não vou te levantar Cai, 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 cai. E cai alguém por simpatia Por amor tem outro alguém Se Deus quiser se eu caia De amores por meu bem Cai alguém por simpatia Por amor cai outro alguém Se Deus quiser se eu caia De amores por meu bem Oi, cai, 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 cai Eu não vou te levantar Oi, cai, 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 cai Quem mandou escorregar Oi, cai, 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 cai Eu não vou te levantar your lips and I like your eyes you do like my lips to hypnotize you your lips and I like your eyes. You do like my ears? Do whips not eyes. We see, 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 the moon above. Way, 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 way up in the blue. See, 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 senor, I think I fall in love. And when I fall, I think I fall for you. Ay, 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 ay. See, 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 see. Ai, 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 can see, see, see. See, 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 see. Is that you for me? Everything is going fine? Sure. Better than I expected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good evening, Arthur.
nobody suspects. He's a mason. If we hadn't told Cecilia, she wouldn't have known. I dare say. Cecilia has been splendid about it, though. Yes, I see. She's giving full cooperation. You are not jealous? Oh, of course not, my dear Arthur. Well, if what you say is true, I think we're out of danger, financially. You got the loan? Practically. I will know definitely in the morning. <laughs> what a relief. I've been worried to death. Uh, I hope your worries are over on that score. The loan comes through in the morning, and then the test machado can cross-examine the whole town if he wants to. <laughs> yes. But if he should see two barons here tonight, he would start this cross-examination at once. We've got to get rid of Senor Martin right away. Leave it to Salas. He will settle that. Get out the Baroness bag. Excuse me, please. in here, but don't worry, I'll make it this time. Get out, get out, get out! Wait a minute, let me see if the coast is clear. Ah, there you are, my dear Machado. Oh, I, I hope you are enjoying the party, huh? Let me in. Let me in. Yeah, uh, uh, as you have probably gathered by now, Baron, I should like to talk to you. Alone. Certainly, Machado, certainly. Are you sure we cannot be overheard here? Well, uh, no, no one can be sure. Uh, on, on the contrary, with people running in and out of here, uh, perhaps I'd better see you tomorrow at my office, say, at 2 o'clock. No, no, impossible. It must be settled tonight. And inasmuch as it involves a discussion of your airline holdings, it is imperative that no one should hear what I have to say to you. What was that? Uh, what, what, uh, what was what, Machado, huh? Well, I, I, I thought I heard a small pop. Oh, nonsense. There, there, there couldn't be any pop in here, huh? Oh, let us get down to business. Uh, uh, perhaps we'd better have a little brandy for us, huh, Machado? Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, here, here you are, Machado. Uh, <clears throat> Baron. I know my eyes are bad, but I, I would swear I saw that screen move. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, that, uh, that black panther was painted so that it, it seems to be moving forward, eh? Well, I, I guess maybe it is my eyes. I'm sorry, Baron. Uh, Excuse me, Baron. To your head. Mm, to yours, Michel. As time is so valuable, I will come directly to the point. I have been watching with keen interest your handling of your airline. I know you have made large investments for the modernization of airports, planes, and so forth, and... Woo! Woo! And then, now, what was that? Woo! Oh, oh that brandy is strong. Mm. No, it came from over there. Oh, there, no. there is someone behind that screen. No, 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 no. I, 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 I say it. I say it. Uh, uh, there, there, you see? Oh. Well, I am terribly sorry, Baron, but uh, I, I don't seem to be myself tonight. Uh, well, well, let us continue. Yeah. Uh, no, no I, I, I cannot understand it. I, I did not think my ears were bad, too. Well, as I was saying, Baron, I am thoroughly familiar with every detail of your investment in your airline. And you can be sure that I, I did not acquaint myself with these facts simply to, to pass away the time. Oh, of course, of course. Now, now, although your considerable expenditures will undoubtedly improve the air transportation, I nevertheless feel that ah, there was someone listening. Don't worry. The Baron knows how to handle him. Yes. But the question is, does Martin know how to handle him? <laughs> Baron, is, is this house haunted? Uh, uh, come to think of it, uh, there, there was a story about, about people... Oh, no, no, never mind, please. As a precaution against co host I, I, I think maybe we'd better continue this conversation in French. Oh, but, 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 but my French is very bad. Oh, nonsense, your French is as good as mine. Je vous dirai immédiatement de quoi il s'agit. 
En vue de la situation mondiale, j'ai décidé de me lancer dans les affaires d'aviation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mon intérêt, bien entendu, est tout autant patriotique que financier. Je, je... Bref, je suis prêt à acheter votre société. Euh, oui, oui. Bon, mais n'oubliez pas surtout que euh, malgré les grandes améliorations que vous comptez porter dans votre ligne, votre plan est tout de même purement spéculatif. <rire> vous gagnerez peut-être, mais, mais il est possible que vous perdiez aussi. <rire> Je vous offre 25 millions. Eh bien, 27 millions 500 000. Je vois que, que vous êtes la plus rusée de Rio. À <rire> part de moi, bien entendu. Euh, oui, oui, oui. Eh bien, bon, voici ma proposition définitive et finale. C'est à prendre ou, ou, ou à laisser. 32 millions. Et si vous refusez, c'est parce que vous n'êtes pas, pas aussi malin que vous en avez l'air. Mm. 32 millions, qu'est-ce que vous dites? Mm. <rire> oh, oui, oui. <rire> eh bien, eh bien, je prendrai le papier et le document demain matin. <rire> Good night, Baron. Good night, mon cher. <laughs> Three o'clock tomorrow, Bello. And then he gave her a necklace and charged it to you. A very enterprising fellow. Yeah, you are leaving so early? And why not? Well, you seem to be annoyed. You are a fine one to ask. I? Precisely. For years, you and Cecilia have scarcely looked at each other. But tonight, in front of my very eyes, as if to taunt me, you all but fell into each other's arms. Oh, did we? I saw you. I watched you every moment. Her voice was soft and alluring. Her smiles enticing, her lips inviting. For me? No, for you! And you presume to ask me why I'm leaving. Good night. He's jealous. And apparently with good cause, poor fellow. If you ask me, he hasn't got a chance. No. Cecilia does not know I'm back, does she? You are still in Buenos Aires, as far as she's concerned. Good. I'm still in Buenos Aires as far as you're concerned, too. I think I will be Senor Martin for just a little longer. What do you mean by coming in here? No. May I remind you again that this is our anniversary? The time of the most charming memories. Why, a little while ago you were so tender, so, so gracious. You can stop pretending now. Just remember one thing. Downstairs you are my husband. Upstairs you are Senor Martin. Oh, so you knew all the time, huh? Why, of course. Well, since you knew who I was, then I must assume those unmistakable signs of affection you gave me downstairs were for me, and not your husband. It was all a pretense. Good night. No, no, no. Be honest with yourself, Cecilia, as well as with me. You haven't thought of your husband once this evening. I felt it when I kissed you, and when I held you close to me in the dance. The light in your eyes was not for him, Cecilia. It was for me, for me only. We may have started out to deceive others, but let's not end by trying to deceive ourselves. Hmm? Why, it's amazing. Just then you sounded exactly like Manuel. You seem to have acquired his... his manner, his heart, his mind, his... Well, I... I have made a study of the Baron. I, I do not believe that I could imitate anybody else half so well. I love this best of all your songs. Please sing it for me. Sing. Hmm. Boy, I know it. Good night. No, no, I'm 
I, I cannot sing it. I, I cannot say it. I, I, I do not feel it. Then I'll say it for you. Good night. If you insist. Larry. You were right, my dear. We shouldn't deceive ourselves. What? I can't fight against you any longer, Larry. I'm not strong enough. Oh, but you must. Uh, I, I mean, uh, sure, you, have, you must be very, very sure of yourself. Huh? Oh, I've never been more sure of anything in my life than that I love you. Hold me tight. Moments like these come so seldom, Larry, we mustn't lose them. Hold me tight. Kiss me. Tell me that you love me. Tell me. I do. Say it again. <clears throat> Good night, Larry, darling. Good night. Morning, man. Don't tell me they've refused the loan. Oh, I wish it were only that. Something far more tragic has happened. Good, good heavens. My wife has betrayed me. She? Impossible. How do you know? Last night, my Cecilia celebrated our anniversary with another man. But who was the man? I was the man. Uh, uh, you, uh, you, you feel all right, Manuel? How do you expect me to feel after a thing like that? I feel miserable, finished. It was like a beautiful, horrible dream. At the same time, delightful and agonizing. I went into her room. I took her in my arms. I kissed her. She kissed me. Ooh, I was hoping against hope. I gambled and I lost. But what did you lose? What's wrong with a wife kissing her own husband? But don't you see I was posing as Martin? She thought she was kissing him. I uh, uh, but she was kissing you. As I see it, it was she who was fooled. I don't believe it. She must have known. She didn't. No. With him. That is, with, with me. She was a different woman than she ever was with me. Oh, what an idiot I have been. How wonderful she is now that it is too late. She's in love with this actor. There is nothing I can do about it. I cannot ask satisfaction of him because that actor is me. That would be suicide. I bet she knew it was you all the time. I've got it. 
I forgot it. She just wanted to teach you a lesson, and she did. You think so? No doubt about it. Come to think of it, at first she was furious, and then very suddenly she changed. That was the moment she discovered it was you. Definitely, and right now she is splitting her sides over it. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> there is no reason why, why I should do all the worry. A few gray hairs would be very becoming to my wife. Get me the airport, and then the Baroness. <laughs> Good morning, Baroness. Good morning, Pedro. Lovely day, isn't it? Yes, Baroness. The Baron would like to speak with you. Well, why doesn't he come in? He's on the telephone. What's the telephone? Please take this, Pedro. Good morning, Manuel. Why didn't you say goodbye to me before you left for the office? Oh, I'm sorry, my dear. I, I came here straight from the airport. You, you mean you were at home last night? I mean, you, you, you just arrived? Oh, yes, about a half hour ago. What's, what's the matter, my dear? You seem a little upset. Upset? No. Why should I be upset? Well, you sounded a bit upset. Didn't you sleep well? Per perfectly, perfectly. Goodbye. Oh. Would you get me the airport quickly? <sighs> Hello? Hello, may I speak to the manager, please? Hello. This is the Baroness Duarte speaking. Would you please tell me what time the Baron's plane landed in Rio? Just a moment, please. It's the Baroness. She's checking up on him. <laughs> the plane arrived at 11.20 this morning. This morning? No. No, it must have arrived last night. It, it's very important. That weather forced him down 400 miles from here. Last night was a very bad night, Baroness. Oh, yes. Oh. Come in. Oh, Pedro, did you see the Baron this morning? Yes, Baroness. Was there anything, anything unusual about him? I mean, did he act as usual? He acted very strangely, Senor. Very strangely. How? In what way? In many ways. One, he does not take a shower. Two, he does not eat his breakfast. Three, he does not shave. Four, he does something he has never done before. He shouts at me. He shouts at me. If you ask me, and you did, I should say the Baron was not himself this morning. He, he was another man. An another man? Call the Baron's pilot and have him come here at once. He's already here, Senora. Here? Yes, he just brought the Baron's bags. Show him in. Yes, Baroness. Yes, sir. Good morning, Baroness. Good morning, Esther. Esther, when did the Baron return to Rio? We landed at about, uh, about 20 minutes past 11. Last night? No, Baroness, this morning. Oh, this morning. Isn't it strange? I, I had a funny feeling the Baron returned last night. I suppose the wish was father to the thought. Perhaps the Baroness dreamed it. Oh, no, Esther. No, it wasn't a dream. Thank you. Fifteen minutes since I telephoned. She's just had time to interview Esa, and then... Ah, huh? you see? Cecilia. Baron Duarte speaking. Oh, yes. Buenos Aires. Ye yes. Yes. 
Yes, I, I understand. Thank you. Don't bother. I, I can tell by your face. <laughs> they were very polite, but final. No law. <laughs> I'm sorry, gentlemen. Well, yeah? you're in a fine fix now. <sighs> yes. Senor Machado to see Baron Duarte. Send him in. But he wasn't supposed to come before three o'clock. What difference does it make? It gives us two hours and a half more to, to raise the money. Where? Where? You, you ask. Don't start with the mouse, don't start. You, don't start with, with the... <laughs> don't start, please. Before we admit anything, we must consult a good criminal lawyer. Huh. <laughs> Ah, good morning, gentlemen. Lucky to find you all three together. Yeah. Uh, oh, now, that is no way to feel on an occasion like this, is it? Maybe he expects us to do a samba. I will save you the trouble of examining the books. Oh, the books, I will pick them up later. I know more about them than you think. Yeah. I, I just happened to be passing, and as I had the check, I thought I would bring it up. Check? Check? Yes. Haven't you told them? Told them? Certainly, about our conversation last night. Uh, no, I... I uh, ah, I see. <laughs> well, now, when I said it was to be strictly confidential, I meant only until the deal was completed. Now everything is all right. You can, you can tell your business partners. <laughs> Go ahead. Well? Well, uh... Uh, uh you, you see, uh, uh, last night... Uh, uh, you! You tell them, Machado. Oh. Uh, coming from you, it will be much, much more impressive, eh? Uh, yes, yes, you tell us. <laughs> well, there is really very little to tell. As I told the Baron last night, for a long time I have been after his airline. So, in short, I bought you out. <laughs> well, you seem surprised, Baron. Surprised? Yes, yes, I... I am surprised that at their surprise. Look, they are still surprised. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that everything is over, I think I might tell you something, too. It was I who engineered the cancellation of your contract with Consolidated Airlines. I thought it would push your price down, but I underestimated the balance in business sense. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you, you certainly did, yes. And it was pretty nervy of you to buy up the other 49% yesterday. What made you guess that I was after your airline, huh? Uh, uh, <laughs> that is your secret, huh? Well, I, I must be going. And uh, here, uh, oh, yes, here is your check, Baron, and uh, congratulations. Only a great business mind could have put over a deal like this. Well, good day, gentlemen. Good day. Thirty-two millions. God bless, Senor Martin. Amen. What about the forty-nine percent? Martin bought it. He made a mistake while our backs were turned. He waved himself into it. Hey, remember, gentlemen, only a great business mind could have put over a deal like this. <laughs> oh, come in. The Baron has just come in, Senora. The Baron. Thank you, Louisa. And I was afraid Pedro wouldn't let me in as Martin. I don't think he appreciates me. But the Baron himself might have been here. Oh, I checked on it first. He's still at the office. Well, what do you want? I want to ask you a favor, Senora. But uh, first, I suppose you know now it was me last night, not your husband. Yes. Yes, but what do you want? Well, if it's not too much trouble, I'd like a letter of recommendation. But recommendation? After last night? Well, what's the matter with last night? Weren't you pleased with my performance? 
Oh, you're simply impossible. Well, I'd like to see you get somebody else do a better job. Why, you vulgar, conceited... Well, sure, I'm conceited. Why shouldn't I be? I'm the best actor in the business. I don't know why you should suddenly change your mind. You thought well of me last night. I wish you'd leave. Well, if you weren't satisfied, why didn't you say so before? Because your performance was too good. Well, I don't mind saying you gave it on good performance yourself. Oh, will you get out of here? All right. But if the Baron should happen to be out of town again sometime, I'd be glad to oblige at half the price. Oh, oh, how horrible of you. Why, you're, you're nothing but a, a cheap, common talk. Well, Baroness, I'm a working man. I gotta make a living. Get out! All right. What about that letter? Only take you a minute. You see, my girlfriend's kind of burned up about last night. I should think she would be. Yeah, but she thinks I was here all night. All I want you to do, Baroness, is write a little note. Tell her the truth, that I left here last night before midnight. Coming from you, I'd be kind of a letter of recommendation. She'd know it was the truth. You mean you left here before midnight? Well, sure. As soon as the Baron came in, I sneaked out through the garden gate. <laughs> oh, of course. How stupid of me not to have known. You're really so different from the Baron when you're yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it makes, uh, makes my performance all the better. Now, look, what about that letter? Oh, nothing would give me greater pleasure. Oh, well, that's fine. Just, uh, uh, send it over to the sample, will you? Uh-huh. Well, uh, bye. Goodbye. Oh, wait. Uh, you said something about a return engagement at half price? Yeah, that's right. Well, you're engaged right now and at full price. I want to talk to you. How do you know he came in here? Oh, he always comes in here first to read his mail. Now, look, there's where I'll stand. And the moment the door opens, you take me in your arms. All right, all right. Uh, how do you think the Baron's going to take this? Oh, he'll be furious. Oh, that's not so good for me. Any, anyhow, if you love him, what do, what do you want to do this to him for? Well, I, I want to make him jealous for very good reasons. That's fine. A jealous husband might do anything. Uh, the Baron is uh, quite a shot, isn't he? Oh, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I just remembered I, I left my hat and gloves out in the hall. I gotta get them, because if he sees them, it'll tip the whole thing off. Oh, yes, but hurry, because I expect him any minute. Now, you'll hurry, won't you? Well, Senor Martin. This is a surprise. Yeah, yeah. How are you? Very well. Now that I have the pleasure of finding you here, I want to thank you for what you have done for me. There is a check in the mail which will express my gratitude much more adequately. Oh, well, thanks, Baron. I, I can always use one. And by the way, senor, what are you doing here? Well, uh, uh, She's crazy about you. Uh, who? Uh, the Baroness, uh, your wife. I'm going to tell you the truth, Baron. Not because I want to give the Baroness away, but because I'm afraid you might muff the whole thing. This has gone far enough. You were supposed to come in and find me making love to her. Oh, really? Yeah, she found out about your little gag and wants to get even. Oh, very interesting. She wants to start all over and live happily ever after, like, uh, like they do in the movies. So do I. On the level? Yes, on the level. You, uh, you know what this is? Yeah, I used to have one, too, until I met Carmen. You now it's funny how a man becomes a walking telephone directory as soon as he gets out of neat pants. I could auction it off at the club. It would bring a fortune. But I'm going to burn it. That a boy. Goodbye, senor. Goodbye, Baron. Uh, you won't give me away in there, will you? Oh, no, no, I won't. the driveway. Now get ready. I expect him to come in any minute. He didn't see you, did he? Oh, a little closer, huh? No, no. Maybe you'd better take me in your arms. Oh, I'll show him. I'll give him the most unhappy moment of his life. I will. Oh, no. No. Not now and not so violently. Wait until he comes in the room. Oh! <laughs> Oh, put me down. Oh, my husband will kill you for this. Manuel! Oh, 
Soon 